Cause we're gonna shout it loud Even if I would sing meaningless Like I'm carrying the weight of the world I wish that some way, somehow That I could save every one of us But the truth is that I'm only one bad Hello and welcome, I'm Stormer and um, continuing the uh, long-standing tradition of this series, I have coffee, I have Tim Tams, and we have a resistance camp to save. So let's uh, hop to it. I believe I'm not going to be able to transport there. So we are going to have to run over there. Which is always fun. I suppose I could have transported to one of the nearer uh, access points, but whatever. Doesn't matter. This way I get to eat more Tim Tams on the way over there. So... And that's something I'm totally okay with. Let's get up here. And across here. Oh, they're dropping robots at us. Ow! Oh, these are the electric robots. That's right. Yeah, I forgot that these are a thing. Anyway, there are electric robots occasionally now, too. That that That's a thing that's going to happen sometimes. Ow! They die just like all the other robots, but they're electric. So, just have to avoid the electricity and... Whoa, that guy's gone. A bit nuts with his uh, gun there. You might notice, actually. I'm going to try and get up close. You might notice that these robots have really funny-looking faces. You can see they're blinking and jumping around and I've only just noticed this probably because I've only I, I, I know why they're like that um, but yeah so these robots have problems clear problems and I'm really curious actually and there's a part of me that really wants to go have a look at something before we go to the resistance camp and I'm just wondering hmm hmm um, might do it. Actually, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's... Before we go to the resistance camp, there's a place I want to go. I want to check something out. In fact, there are two places I'm going to go. Um, I don't believe it's gonna have a significant impact. I'm not sure, but it's something I know about that if you've not played the game past this point before, you won't know about. Um, but it's something I know about, and I'm curious to know if... Pardon me. Those robots are just going to keep coming, so we're just going to ignore them. I'm curious to know. Yeah, look at them all. They're all. They've all got it. They've all got the red faces. I'm curious to know. Okay, where's the access point up here? I didn't even notice this the first time I played it because I didn't know to look for it. But now I know to look for it. I'm going to head. Um, yeah, that's where I want to head. Oh, huh. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess there are two places we're going to head. Before we go to the resistance camp, I want to go here. And there is a reason for this. There's a really good reason for it. So, let's sit through this loading screen. And uh, we'll see. We'll just see if I'm right. Because if I am, then that's very interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not right. Yet. Um, and the annoying part of that is, I'm not even sure I can explain what I'm right about without spoiling something later in the game. Um, but at the moment, I am not right. But I want to find out what's going on in Pascal's Village. Um, if you've played through, uh, this game, you'll know what I'm, you'll know exactly what I'm thinking about. Um, and what I'm, I was guessing at. If you haven't, then, well, I'm not going to say anything, because I don't want to give it away. You're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing running around here, like a madman. But, the truth is, I don't want to give away. Hang on a second. What 
the? Hang on. How do I get? Have I missed something here? That's that was never there before. Huh? The game actually locks you out of going to Pascal's village at this point. Because to get to Pascal's village, I'd need to. I need to go that way, don't I? That little uh, corridor there. And it's blocked off. Huh. That is the right way to go. Yeah, look, on the map, it's it's right there, but Pascal's village is blocked off. Huh. I wonder. Sorry, this is this is something I'm really interested in. I'm super curious about uh, why this is happening. Um I mean, I, I know, I, I know what, what happens, but I just, I find it really odd that Pascal's village is completely blocked off. You can't go there now, right? That door there, that uh, gate there shouldn't be there. And I'm just wondering, I'm, I'm sure it's, I'm sure I'm wrong about this. Um, but if I go, see it's blocked off there. If I go to Forest Castle front which is the other way to get to Pascal's village. There's actually two other ways to get to Pascal's village. Um, and we might check all three actually, just before we do anything. Because I'm going to have to get back to the resistance camp anyway, so we'll go check the third one. But, I just want to see. So, this won't become important till we go through uh, onto playthrough C. What I'm doing now is looking for something that happens in the third playthrough. Um, and I wanted to see, because I noticed something about those robots that made me think of a thing in the third playthrough. And I want to see if that's what's going on here. So that's why we're doing this little bit of a run around before we go to the resistance camp. Don't worry, we're, we're going to get there. We've got time. We're, we're going to get there. So don't panic about that. I just want to... Okay, yeah, that gate's closed. Had a strange feeling that would be the case. Um, that that gate would be closed. Okay. Let's head back to the resistance camp. I'll go to the save point nearest it. And uh, we'll check something else out while we're there. So, Pascal's village appears to be completely inaccessible from this point. Which is interesting. Um, I think that's really interesting. I had no idea that would be the case. So, anyway... Um, you notice those robots before, the, the ones with the weird faces and the flashing lights and the electricity? You see a lot more of them in the third playthrough, and it made me... When I realised what they were, I thought, well, hang on a second. Um, there's a bunch of those here, aren't there? So I thought, well, I'm going to have a look to see what else is happening there, because that's weird. And it is. It's proper weird. Um, but obviously it's not, you know, not all that's happening. Ah, that's good coffee. Anyway, so that's that's one of the things I was thinking of. Um, but... We'll come back to that. We will come back to that. I just, yeah, I think that's really interesting that the game shows that while we're over here, we might as well, oh, we might as well take this guy out. If you know nothing about this game, you haven't played this game before, what I'm doing right now might just seem like pointless wandering around and why are you going there? Why are you trying to get into Pascal's village, which you obviously can't go to? You have played the game before. Look! Look at that guy! He's got it! See, these guys all have it. They're all, they've all got smashed up faces. All these robots are kind of wrecked. These robots don't seem to be, the, the flying ones here, these guys don't seem to be, it just seems to be the, the land-based robots that we're dealing with here. But yeah, that's actually super interesting, that they actually put that here now. Now, like I said, it won't become important until the third playthrough why that's a thing, alright? But I wanted to see if there was any further hints or clues about it. Um, and yeah, I want you guys to all pay attention to the fact that these robots are kind of fucked up. Um, and if you know the third playthrough, you'll know why I went to the, uh, fairground. Um, but we'll get to that. Oh boy, we'll get to that. Um, so. 
Anyway. They're just going to keep coming. Let's, let's not worry about these guys. Let's just keep going. We get to the resist camp, but I also just wanted to see if this was... Nah, this is blocked off as well. That's what I thought. Of course, we can't move that yet. So, that's been blocked into place. So, that, that was all I really wanted to check, was that... Um, the resistance camp and all that kind of stuff what what was going on there was something else so they, these are normal robots they, they're hostile but they're normal they, these don't have th that guy does but some of them do and some of them don't so some of them have the smashed up faces and some of them don't okay okay that's interesting anyway let's uh get to the resistance camp oh boy are these guys all yeah they are look look see some of them, again, some of them are, some of them aren't, actually. I noticed, just as we went past there. We get this piece of music here instead of the regular piece of music, too. Now, jacked robots, see? Why are there They're getting dropped off. Like this? Yeah. Uh, Try contacting the bunker via laser relay system. Affirmative. See, he's all messed up. Anyway. Yeah, all these robots have the problem too. Are they eating them? These robots have a lot of problems actually. There are still enemies here. We can't just leave. Well, that doesn't help that I got knocked into Doesn't help that I got knocked into the exit there. Still. To be. You okay? They came out of nowhere. Overran the entire camp. We tried to fight back, but our shots have no effect. Alert. Energy shields detected on multiple enemy fighters. Yeah. Physical attacks recommended. Gun. You get the other androids out of here. Good luck. Oh, let me attack them. Anyway, let's uh, keep going. Oh, whoa. That's strong. Will they fight each other then? I oh, know one of those robots very much looked like he was fighting the others. Oh, hello. You have to fight one of these guys in uh, 2D. Plus the two guys up there. <laughs> Just knock them down. Yep, that's, that's the way to do it. Big bombs. Big bombs. Drop the big bombs. Look at that robot coming in from the background with his uh, spinny arms. There we go. What's that guy dealt with? I'll just grab all these nice little items and we'll head back over this way. And anemone should be to here. Be. You, you saved our lives. What's going on here? I have no idea. They came out of nowhere and just... Huh? That was outside the camp! We got problems. Many, many problems. Hello. You again? Yeah, didn't we fight you before? Also, um, that water is quite electric at the moment, so let's uh, stay right the hell away from that. Let's uh, switch back to Pod B2 and use that. You can get close to it, you just gotta, um, gotta... Well, I'm not gonna do it right now, actually, because uh, of all that damage. Whoa. Also, the fact that it's moved on to the island I wanna get to. I don't wanna get that close to it, I suppose. 
What we don't want doing is electrifying the water while we're on it. This isn't going well. Yo, oh, shockwaves. I dodged them. I dodged them. Okay, I didn't dodge them. Local machine life forms are converging on the area. This is never going to end. Hypothesis. The Goliath class enemy screen has summoned the local machine life forms. Let's get out of the electric water again. Destroy the Goliath. Yep. That's basically what you gotta do, is avoid those guys and just keep focusing on it. But, it's a little more difficult this time. Just because you got all these little dudes wailing on you all the time. Oh, whoa. Settle down, guys. Come on. Should be enough, surely. There we go. And bang. You okay? Good thing I landed that direct hit. Uh oh. You die. All of you are going to die. He's not happy about something. I remember the last time this happened and gave birth to Adam and Eve. Wow, that laser works wonders against this thing. First time I did it, I didn't have the B laser, um, and I just had to had to do that. But you, you've got to sort of strip off all those robots so you can get this, this core active, and then you've got to avoid these giant lasers. It's a cool looking effect, though. That worked really well. That was a well-timed bomb in the end. So yeah, that um, that works really well at stripping that away and then making sure that it's uh, available for damage. Did I bomb then? I, I must have done. Sometimes the bomb doesn't work reliably though, I find. It's it's always had... I've always had trouble getting it to work reliably. There we go. It really ripped it apart. I think, yeah, that should be easy. There we go, that's done. I'm sure that's the end of that battle. Look at these electric machines over here. Uh oh. Well, I guess we got bigger problems now. It's all, um, machines, too. All of that. Do. There's too many. Chubby? Chubby, can you hear me? Our village is under. Pascal? Come in, Pascal! Shit! So, don't let you get to Pascal's village. Um. Which is interesting. So, don't let you get there, then. But then, of course, it's under attack and you have to go rescue it. But, hmm. I know the reasoning is for locking you away from Pascal's village at this point, other than, of course, to direct you to the resistance camp. Um, but, like, you can't even go to Pascal's village to use a shop or anything. You, you have to live with the fact that you can't go there. So, I'd be curious to know what the, the actual sort of reasoning behind that is. These guys just got to keep coming, so let's just uh, not worry about them. And let's just not worry about those guys. We'll just get down here and do the boss. We should be close to. Where is he? Oh, that's right. We've got to. Damn it! They're here too. 
Got to deal with these guys first. It seems the machines on the network have gone berserk. They've sealed off the entrance to the village and are trying to hold them off. But with these weapons, there's only so much we can do. Let's take these guys out first. Oh yeah, these guys. And we got big guy again. Big guy problems. I love that that just locks straight onto that head part that's otherwise right pain in the butt to, um, to deal with. Is there a corpse there? There was. Let me grab that corpse over here. Vision of those lost in a closed theatre. That feels like a reference to a certain Ghost in the Shell standalone complex episode. There we go. Got it down. Whack it. Hit it with all of our might. Bomb it. Yep. Thank you so much. Wow, that was easy. What happened here? The machines on the network all went berserk at the same moment. I think the unit presiding over them may have gone mad. It's Eve. It's gotta be. If we destroy this presiding unit, will it stop the rest? Most likely, yes. Pod, I need you to locate Eve's current position. Location has been detected and placed on map. We'll take care of Eve. You just worry about keeping the village safe, okay? Oh, we will. We will. Do not worry about that. Now what? Here he is. Ah, uh, and here you are. I know you two feel the same. That this world is utterly meaningless. As far as I'm concerned, my brother was everything. And now, everything must die! Why did you kill my brother? Speak about everything. Go oh, ahead, yeah, that's what I want. Try and get as much damage as we can. Shouldn't be too hard again. I'm having a real easy time of it with these <laughs> boss battles. Partly because I have the, the offensive heal, and partly because this laser just makes these battles really crazy good. And look how much damage we've done. I, I, I accept this is only the first phase of this fight, um, but... Now we're going to go into what's well, effectively the second phase, but, uh... Oh! Yeah, no, you really do have to do this, uh, Bayonetta stuff here. By the way, how good is the combat in this game? Oh! Oh! Stop, stop with the knocking off us. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm going to knock back down the ground. Very easy up there. Maybe I just won't bother. He's still up there, isn't he? Need to get to it. Okay. Oh, I can't. Couldn't do it from there. Damn it. Come on. Get low enough that I can get up on you. No? Okay. Ah, that's annoying. Normally I do this either. I've never had this much trouble ever doing this before. For some reason I've got really shitty block placements. Oh, I can't even see where they are now. Yeah, that's what. Oh, okay. No. I, I guess we're done. Okay. Didn't even need to do that part. Cool. Let's just deal with this then. Um, but yeah, you can get up there and attack him and knock him down. That part will go a lot faster if you do. Jeez, imagine, imagine how much easier this would be if I had the upgraded port as well. He's absorbing the life force of whatever's left on the network. Yeah, he heals himself back up. Damn it. We'll never get anywhere like this. I'm going to try hacking into Eve and shutting him down. Back me up, 2B. On it. Protecting Unit 9S while he hacks the system. The enemy is connected to a vast network. Analysis. The actions of Unit 9S have an unacceptably low probability of success. Revolution. Yeah, well. Unit 2B should abandon Unit 9S. If 9S says he can do it, then he will! There's a body here. 
right in the middle of combat. Let's retrieve it. And hope we don't get hit while we do that part. That's really annoying, actually, that you you have that period where you're not animated. And you see the um, that little circle above Eve is 9S's sort of hacking meter. Um, it's not his health. It's unrelated to his health. I think if I get his health down low enough, he may actually end up just regenerating it all anyway. So that's probably a thing that can happen. Yeah. There we go. We got it. Yeah, let's Dragon Ball this this stuff. Gotcha. I love that her um her visor falls off too. So we finally get C9S's uh, sorry, 2B's eyes. We also get bullet patterns. Big, big bullet patterns. It's all because of you. Oh, geez, man. Seriously? He gets a bit, uh... 90s goatee metal rap kind of, uh, kid at this point, really. Anyway. He's not that hard. All those bombs will go against him. Oh, boy. Wow, that was an excellent choice. Yeah, because I, I can't get near him. I can't, um, I can't really uh, melee him at this point. I mean, I can probably use my weapon swings, but I'm doing enough damage like this, so it's not a big deal. Ah, missed. So not so good that time. Got a little bit uh, too far away, I guess. Need to stay in proximity with him for it to work well. So. Anyway, nearly there. Now you might think this is the final boss, and you'd be right, probably, but it's not the end of the game. Oh yeah. Now we got fun times, because I can't actually use melee attacks now, um, at all. Oh, also, I cannot dodge. Um, and you see my, my health bar there is kind of distorted and out of whack up the top, but it, which it happens a couple of times in the game before this. I don't think I can use the, uh, the super on my uh, port either. Oh no, there we go. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, and it's all good. It's all good. Oh, if only it was that simple. If only it was that simple. It's not that simple. We're not done yet. This might seem like the end of the game, but... Eh, not quite. Not by a long shot. Ninas. <laughs> I really screwed up. when Eve detached from the network. No. It's okay. I can always reload my backup data from the bunker. But you'll lose you, the you that exists at this very moment. Guess so. But we can't upload this corrupted data to the bunker. So... Snyness.
It's a really strong moment, this. And they play it up. They make they make this work, I think. Transmissions. They're resonating with each other. It's such a cool moment, this. side of things. Next thing I knew, my sense of self was regenerated over the surrounding network. Having multiple selves fused together like this is a pretty valuable experience, so I wanted to record it. But I couldn't access any storage areas yet, so I just multiplexed it over the memories of some nearby enemies so that when I returned to my own body, I... Yes. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. That's so cool. Machines from androids like us. The machines have gained emotions, consciousness. The final screams they summoned on the edge of death. They still echo within me. And there we have it. And we get the cool ending song that, uh, if you've been watching these videos, you'll be familiar with a little bit. <laughs> I did pick it at the opening. Flowers for Machines. It's uh, the A ending of Near Automata. Um, but we're not done. We will be doing B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, all the way through to Z. And yes, there really are 26 endings. I am going to, uh, as part of this series, I'm going to do all of them. Um, most of them are comedy joke endings, and I'm actually going to get them... Uh, Probably after we do ending C, because once we beat ending C, we unlock a chapter select that will allow us to just jump about the game and do all that. Um, so that'll, th that may just be one video or two videos, just getting all the endings uh, to show them off. Um, and obviously I've already got ending K on this playthrough um, as well. But uh, that's why I haven't been fast about finding those other endings, because I, I know now that I can just get them uh, later on. And then we will get endings D and D. E as well but they'll be D, D will be the last two endings we get um there are good reasons for that uh which will become clear as we go through uh to those so anyway i'm gonna uh let the credits run and um that'll be uh pretty much i think the end of this video i won't start um the next uh i won't start the uh next uh the, the next playthrough i won't start the b play through until the next episode that seems like a good place to leave to leave it um and that way it creates a clean break so if someone wants to come into this series just starting at ending b i'll um make it clear that the or starting at uh, route b 
I'll make it clear that um, that's the start of the next episode as well, so it'll be obvious from the name of the video, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, let's uh, enjoy this wonderful song. I really like this song. And um, I will probably not have anything to add to this video, so I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, enjoy the credits, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, right at the end we got a notification from Square Enix too. Yep. This this is just to let you know that you need to do this to start the uh, next uh, thing. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll do that in the next video. So, thank you all for watching, and I really will see you then. I wish that some way, somehow, that I could save every one of us, but the truth is...